How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and so many people have been tagging me in this video that I'm not going to set up my face cam. I'm just going to talk about it really quick and upload it. I have been spammed in this video probably more than any other video in the history of videos. This video in particular has everyone riled up. Everyone's grabbing their pitchforks and trying to look for whoever did this. Well, I don't know the answer, but we're going to take a look at the clip and I'm going to give my all knowledgeable insight on what happened. So, let's play the clip. No, I don't think so. Every, everyone is fine. Hey. Well, as you saw, a Tesla Model S decided that Earth was a peasant planet and decided to try to go join his roadster brother in space. Homeboy legit full sent his Tesla full of people for a multi-second zero gravity experience. I mean, flying through the air, floating in your seats, shit in your pants and all with a stray cat. Homeboy was wildin'. Well, it didn't end up so well. Um, and there were a few influencers there recording it. Luckily, they all know how to aim their camera. So there's a lot of great camera angles of it. That's one thing that's great about this. If this was recorded by people who like record school fights and shit, shit would be shaky. Uh, th this is some great quality stuff. But yes, um, Tesla Model S decided to do the jump in, I think it's like LA or Hollywood, where David Dobrik jumped his giant Model X, I think it is. I don't, I'm not a huge, I don't know Tesla models that well. But anyways. Um, decided to do it and he overdid it clearly and damn near killed everyone inside the vehicle, a stray cat and possibly people that were watching it as well. In the process, he destroyed the Tesla, a few garbage cans, and I think he hit two cars is what the news is saying. Um, although in someone's video, I don't, I don't want to name drop anyone, but in someone's video, um, they only showed damage to one vehicle and it didn't seem surprisingly that bad. So yeah. Now, why would anyone do this? Well, this is how people get when people are recording them. Like, if you go to car meets, if you go to, you know, any car event, whenever somebody has a camera pointed at them and they're in a car, they're either A, going to rev their car, B, going to do something stupid to their car, like a burnout or a donut or something, or C, they're going to be chill and do nothing. It's usually never the last one. People, when they have cameras on them, and especially if they're around large influencers, they need to impress. They have this need. They, they have this this need to, to itch and to like impress and to like, you know, be, be the, the cool guy, I feel. And it happens. I mean, you can't say it doesn't. If you were hanging out with larger people, would you not want to, you know, impress them and, you know, try to fit in? Now, going beyond um, the footage, supposedly, this is a rented Tesla. So, someone's not getting their car back, it seems. And that sucks. Like, I don't even know if they're, like, this doesn't even make any sense. This whole story doesn't make any sense. Like, all over social media, especially since I'm in LA, everyone is just, like, on the hunt for whoever was the driver of the Tesla that fucking decided to do an evil Knievel-style stunt. And in the video I watched, um, he claims that it was a random dude, which, I mean, isn't unbelievable. And even if it wasn't, like, a random dude and they did introduce themselves, like, I meet a lot of people at car meets, and I don't remember their names and stuff, so there, there's, like, not much really he can do. I don't think that he was hiding anyone, unless it was one of his homies, but I don't think so. I don't, I, I don't think they're that stupid to do that and, like, hide someone, but I don't know. But, yeah, long story short, four random dudes were in a Tesla. They found a stray cat. They brought the stray cat and wanted to take him to Mars, too, um, and they did this dangerous stunt, nearly killing themselves, the cat. Anyone who was watching, whether they would have overjumped, underjumped, accidentally bailed at the last second, you know, flipped the car, anything. They could have killed, I wouldn't say countless, because there is there is a, a maximum amount of casualties that could have occurred. But they could have killed a handful of people, all in the hopes of just impressing someone, or a few people. After they crashed, they all got out, they were all fine, the cat was fine, nobody actually did get hurt, like at least seriously from what we know. 
and they just dipped. Um, I mean, if you were in an accident like that and you rented the car and and somehow the rental guy doesn't have your fucking name, I mean, I, it doesn't surprise me that they dipped. I don't know how that even happens. When you rent a car, you have to fill out paperwork and shit. So I have no idea how they rented a car and didn't leave their name or anything. They left an alias, you know. They said, I'm Batman and just fucking dipped. Or they, they, they used um, McLovin's name or something. But yeah, um, I think that's a lesson learned to whoever rented that shit. But at the end of the day, this should be a lesson learned to all of you guys. I don't think you guys are that stupid. I mean, obviously not. You're subscribed to my channel, right? But uh, I don't think you guys are that dumb. You guys don't seem like the type of people to uh, want to risk killing people and destroying your property at the same time. So, good job for that. But maybe also influencers should maybe, like, you know, talk people down from doing stupid shit just for the camera. Um, like I said, I wasn't there. In the video, he says the guy just, like, showed him the spot, went down the hill, and did it with no test jump. Like, you know, just as if he's done it a million times. And I get that. If that's truly what happened, there is nothing that he could have done. But at some point, someone should have said, hey, there's a lot of uh, cars on the other side. It's pretty fucking sketch. Just imagine if he wouldn't have flew straight. Imagine if he would have accidentally went at a, a bit of an angle or something. Like, it could have been so much worse. But luckily, it wasn't. This just in. Uh, I think someone turned themselves in for it, it looks like. Said it was a TikTok user, which, I mean, isn't everyone technically a TikTok user nowadays? So, it's like, TikTok's a drug and shit. They don't show his face or anything. I want to see this schmuck. But it looks like they caught someone who wanted to say that they did it. So, cool. In the article, they claim that he might have been under the influence of marijuana edibles. Bro was literally so high, he was flying in a Tesla. What a legend. They're only offering a $1,000 reward. That ain't going to work on an influencer who has millions of dollars. It's like shooting Bill Gates a dollar and saying, hey, man, can you tell me the secret to life or something? Like, ain't going to work. But, yeah, um... Two lessons to be learned. Don't do stupid stunts when you're not a stunt driver and you're in the public. And two, if you are going to do stupid stunts, uh, don't have 20 people recording it and uploading it. Anyways, hopefully people learned a lesson, but probably not. Anyways, I was just trying to talk about this really quick. If you enjoyed this, subscribe to see more videos like this one. And until next video, peace.